Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Nickel, your cannabis expert for CannabisExpertMD.com with a frequently asked question. This one comes off our Facebook website, Beth from Bath, Maine. Oh, I like that one. Uh, Beth asks, is dabbing safe? Well, dabbing, for anybody who's not familiar with it, is the use of cannabis concentrates. Uh, some of them are waxes, some are referred to as shatter, some as sugars. They're all wax, or they're all concentrates from the cannabis plant that are arrived through an extraction technique. Tend to be very high in THC, other cannabinoids, as well as terpenes. Now, the way you consume these concentrates is through a couple methods. One of them is a dab rig. Now, that tends to be a water pipe with a quartz or a titanium nail, they call it. This nail is heated up with a butane torch to a very, very hot temperature. A small amount of the concentrate is applied to the nail, which instantly vaporizes and is then inhaled by the patient. There are other methods of doing the same thing called nectar collectors, where a little metal tube is heated up again with a torch to instantly vaporize the cannabis concentrate. The other way that they can be administered is through electronic vaporization pens. Um, now that heats the concentrate to a specific temperature at which the concentrate turns to vapor, then that is inhaled and used. Well, as far as research into the safety of dabbing, there, there's not a whole lot of it at this point in time. Some research has shown that the very, very high temperatures that are used with the dab rigs in particular can cause some of the terpenes to be changed chemically into carcinogenic substances, one in particular that they note is benzene, which is highly carcinogenic. This seems to be related to the temperature at the, at the vaporation, vaporization occurs, with much higher temperatures re resulting in higher benzene concentrations. There's also another issue with um, dabbing that there may be an issue with it, and that's the very, very high transient blood levels of THC that are seen using these dab rigs that are very popular in the recreational market. The um, very high transient THC levels may be associated with what's known as transient ischemic attacks or mini strokes in some patients. Uh, although this is not well studied, it, it appears to be kind of correlated with the very, very high doses of THC that some patients can experience using these. As always, when we're talking about using any medication, every medication carries a risk to it, so we're always looking to minimize the risks with it. My suggestions for patients that are using wax concentrates, whether they're sugar, shatter, butter, or whatever it may be, is to use an electronic vaporization device for it. By using an electronic vaporization device, it actually achieves much lower temperatures than the recreational dab rigs do. This should result in a smaller proportion of the terpenes being converted to the possibly carcinogenic chemicals that we mentioned. This also, it is also a lot easier to titrate the dose of concentrate towards the effects that you're wanting and not really overshoot what you're looking for and get an extremely high THC level, which potentially could minimize the possibility of any of these transient ischemic attacks that may occur with high dose transient THC levels. For more things medical cannabis, check us out at CanvasExpertMD.com. We're also available on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter under Cannabis Expert MD. Mm -hmm.